Friday night, many eyes in the Wabash Valley will be focused on Cleveland, Ohio. That's where Indiana State will compete in the first round of the NCAA men's basketball tournament. Now, while some of us will be watching on TV, some of you may be making that drive to Cleveland. If you are, News 10's Gina Glaris has some information you'll want to know about. The big game is just around the corner. ISU Sycamores play Syracuse this Friday at Cleveland's Quicken Loans Arena. Tip-off is at 9.57 p.m. If you are lucky enough to have a ticket to the game, you may have decided to drive to Cleveland. With gas prices going up, you'll want to get an idea of how much you'll be paying at the pump before you go. Check out your pump watch section of WTHITV.com. You can follow your route from Terre Haute to Cleveland and get an idea of gas prices along the way. Once you get to Cleveland, you'll probably want to find a place to stay since the game doesn't even start until almost 10 p.m. We searched the internet this morning to get an idea of how much you could pay. Here's what we found. The best deals were at the Best Western and Holiday Inn. If you're going with a group, the Hilton Suites hotels, including Doubletree, Embassy Suites, and Homewood Suites, may make the most sense. They accommodate six to seven people and run from $169 to $229 per night. But you might want to make sure you get it booked now as rooms are expected to fill up fast. So if you're already in Cleveland, you might want to check out what the town has to offer. These are several venues you could visit. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in there, as well as House of Blues and the Pickwick and Frolic Comedy Club. We've got all this information for you on our website, WTHITV.com, including the hotel's rates and who's performing at the entertainment venues. Back to you. Well, if you're staying